This is a trailer for Top of the Toolbar. As the screen indicates, there are seven videos, and the seven videos last approximately 47 minutes. What I'm going to show you here is a little bit of each one of them. The first one is flip horizontal as it shows on top of the screen. If you hit the keyboard shortcut, you'll notice where the cursor is, look where roof two is, where now is roof one. Look at the di half diamond, it changes. Goes back and forth, back and forth. Show you how to do that very simply. All right, now you look at the top of the screen and we're going to flip it vertically. Again, we'll go right up here to the, uh, the icon where it says flip vertically. And what we'll do is we'll use the shortcut. Look at roof two is on the top, roof one on the bottom. Opposite. Roof two back on top. Back and forth. Back and forth. Very useful tool. Next one is the rotate button. You select the degrees that you want to rotate it, and then you hit it, or you just will show you how to use that, and man, it's very good. Very worthwhile for different looks, one or the entire, one drawing or the entire set of drawings. This is orientation. As the screenshot indicates, orientation is very helpful and allows you to change things. You'll learn what that red arrow means. See that red arrow right there? Or if you put it here. Look back forth, and you'll learn that by moving it around, you can change the orientation of the roof, like this. Very, very simple, very powerful tool, especially in the midst of a drawing. This one, as the screen indicates, is putting his roof, the roof icon. We'll bring it over here, the cursor, we'll click on it. And here we have a roof. We'll show you how to make it go around. How to pray anywhere you want. We'll show you it go one way. We'll bring it back the other way. All right, we can manipulate it. We can do almost anything we want with it. We can also change it. We can change it to a touch hip. We can change it to a hip. We can change it to a partial hip. We can change it to almost a flat roof. Dutch cable. Anything that we require. We'll show you how to commit it and then how to change it also. The cursor or select is your mouse. And if anything that's overdone in Xactimate and in Roof Sketch, it is the mouse. If you put the cursor on, you're going to learn what happens. The color changes. You click on it the correct way, and you're going to get a nameplate diamond. You're going to get another diamond on all four 90-degree angles of this particular roof. And you're going to get blue squares. You're going to learn the significance of those. You're going to learn the significance of... When you have one roof, you can highlight one and work on it while not highlighting the other. Very quick, easy tool which will make you very efficient. The next and last is the roof annotations. The roof, uh, roof annotations really make a drawing look good. All we're going to do is show you how to bring them down and work them. Shows you how the arrow will show you how you do text, where it located, how do you locate it, and then how do you change it. Make your square. You can may sometimes make it bigger if you want. 
you want to move it, you can move it. We'll show you how to do all of that. It's a very effective video. When you want when you want to really make your drawing stand out, and if you want to get rid of the annotations, we'll show you a quick way to do that. All in all, it will really make you stand out beforehand, uh, b before everyone else. These are the seven videos for the top of the toolbar that are most used by people drawing roofs. Roofs are the most maligned, not done correctly draw, uh, parts of adjusting. If you can do this, you will stand out. If you take these videos, they will help you.